Chapter 896, Little Shu, the General of Wei Wu Army Lu Shu returned the black soldier's stare calmly, but the latter did not pause for long. He turned and charged onwards, seemingly determined to slaughter all his enemies. According to the original plan, the Wei Wu army should have been stationed on the city walls to defend against Black Feather Army. However, the attack was all too sudden, which left the Wei Wu army little time to rush back to the city from their military camp in the countryside. The Black Feather Army was as fierce as a black dragon. They had disrupted the formation of the Wei Wu army in merely one assault. Compounded with the unfortunate fact that their general, Yi Xiaoming, had been killed on his way back to the city, the troop was in complete disarray. Lu Xu sighed. Yi Xiaoming was truly a good for nothing. He should have at least written him a letter of recommendation before he died. Now that the general of the Wei Wu army was dead, how could he possibly obtain the letter? The bloodshed outside the city did not stop until night fell. All the doors in Yunnan city were closely shut as the folks were afraid that the Black Feather army might slaughter them all. Strong and well organized, the 3,000 Black Feather army soldiers charged forward fearlessly against the 10,000 Wei Wu soldiers. They were unstoppable. Oftentimes a small-scale assault was enough to panic their enemies. Blood dripped down the slits of their black armor. Their spears were stained scarlet red. The few survivors of the Wei Wu army had fled into the mountains, hoping that the Black Feather cavalry would not abandon their horses and pursue them so soon. Meanwhile, Lu Xu and Li Heighton paid close attention to the situation on the battlefield. When Lu Xiaoyu requested to go out for a closer look, Lu Xu did not allow it. At the moment, he could be certain that the black feather soldier who stared into his eyes earlier was a rank one master. He did not want to take the risk of having Lu Xiaoyu kidnapped by him. After defeating the Wei Wu army completely, the black feather army headed southward clearly showing no intention of entering the city. They were truly the most elite troop in the Luniverse. Lu Xu felt that they were on par with his Flood of Bronze. Yet, the Flood of Bronze had the advantage of bronze armor, which was a piece of magical weapon, but the Black Feather army did not have such a luxury. Gazing at their receding army, Lu Xu pondered for a long moment and concluded. They are going to trap the Qing Sai army in a siege. In fact, taking down Yun and City was not their main goal. They simply wanted to breach this weakest point of defense and launch a surprise attack on the Qing Sai army. This way, it's impossible for Qing Sai to survive. Despite the long distance between Yunnan City and Nanging City that spanned over 300 kilometers, the cavalry could probably make it within three days, given their impressive speed and stamina. Indeed, the combat horses in the Luniverse were incredibly strong. Now that a troop of Black Feather Army was charging towards them, the Qing Sai Army in Nanging City was certainly on the losing end. Now, Yunnan City had become a lifeless place. At night, the entire city was shrouded in total darkness and no light could be seen. The town folks hid in their houses, scared and helpless like cicadas in the cold winds. Suddenly, a group of Azure Dragon villagers came up to Lu Xu and said, My lord, Wei Wu army has come to seek your protection. Lu Xu almost laughed out loud. Ha! <laughs> the government troops have come to seek help from the bandits. Are they not ashamed? Ask them to leave. We have no obligations to protect them. The villagers trotted away. However, they returned again when Lu Xu was inspecting the situation down the hill. My lord, they said that they are willing to plant peanuts. Insignificant skill. Let's go and have a look. Lu Xu walked up the village walls of Azure Dragon Village. Outside were countless deserters from Wei Wu Army. In a rough estimate, Lu Xu guessed that there were at least 3,000 people. Under their hopeful gazes, Lu Xu said in a calm voice, You are soldiers and we are bandits. It doesn't make sense for us to protect you, does it? Besides, there is not enough space in my village to accommodate all of you, even if I wanted to. It's okay. We can sleep in the countryside. We only hope that you don't chase us away, sir, a man shouted. 
His face was covered in mud, apparently having fought extremely hard for his life. Lu Xu was still reluctant to accept. Most importantly, it doesn't reflect well on either of us. We have no connections with Wei Wu army at all. At this moment, someone threw an item at Lu Xu. At first, he thought that it was a secret weapon. The bishop caught it and passed it to Lu Xu, who stared in confusion. What is this? This is Yi Xiaoming's tiger stamp. Now that Yi Xiaoming is dead and the Wei Wu army is in a state of disunity, I, Lu Qianji, one of the deputy generals of Wei Wu army, am willing to follow you as our new general. As he spoke, the man suddenly knelt down on one knee, and so did the other Wei Wu soldiers. Lu Qianji shouted, All of us used to plant peanuts for you, doing our best to secure a living. In the past, we had always been ostracized inside the army because we did not agree with Yi Xiaoming's values. As if sensing Lu Xu's hesitation, the man continued, The appointment of the Wei Wu general has never followed any strict procedures. I know the lord behind Yi Xiaoming and I am willing to send him presents on behalf of you, my lord. With enough money and benefits, we can buy the general position for you. Now that the Wei Wu army is in a state of utter despair, it is the perfect time for you to lead us, my lord. With the tiger stamp in your hands, we are willing to follow you. Was this supposed to be a joke? Lu Xu drew a startled breath. An outsider as he was, he had wanted to join the Wei Wu army in a low-key manner, but ended up as a bandit. Then when he wanted to ask Yi Xiaoming for a recommendation letter, that guy was dead. And now that he felt sorry for the dismal state the Wei Wu army was in, they had just pledged to follow him as their new general. Was this Luniverse a fake world? That was truly an eventful day. Yet, Lu Xu could hardly muster any joyful emotions at the moment. Instead, he was doubting the authenticity of his life. Li Heighton had once told him that those who were willing to plant peanuts for them were good-natured soldiers, as they earned a living through hard work. In comparison, most Wei Wu soldiers had gotten used to living off the toil of other people, and they were reluctant to get their hands dirty with peanut farming even though the subsidies provided by Azure Dragon Village were really inviting. Therefore, this group, who were kneeling in front of him and pledged their willingness to plant peanuts, were at least not rotten at heart. They might still be salvageable. In fact, Lady Luck was on their side because they were on the farmlands when the war began, far away from the battlefield. Undeniably, this was some good karma. Hesitant, Lu Xu glanced over the huge group of Wei Wu soldiers outside the village walls and asked, Are you sure that I can be your general? That almost made Lu Qianji jump in joy. He knew that Lu Xu was moved by his offer. Immediately Lu Qianji dropped to his knees again and shouted, We are willing to plant peanuts for you for life, my lord, until the day we die. That certainly did not sound like any other pledge of allegiance. Chapter 897, Pressing into the In Mountain In Nanging City, the Qingxi army was having a hard time. The Black Feather army swept through their territory like a storm of locusts, and Lu Yijiao had certainly not expected a rank 1 enemy in their very first encounter. The man had almost killed him in the first wave of attack. Nevertheless, Qing Sai army was a troop of practitioners. They had long since developed magical weapons especially served to defend against rank 1s who could fly in the air. Usually, such weapons would be carefully stored and preserved in the armory, but thankfully Lu Yijiao had good foresight this time. The Black Feather army bore down menacingly. Thus, Lu Yijiao had a bad hunch that their attack would be fiercer than any previous ones. Hence, he had ordered his most trusted men to bring along weapons especially against rank ones. Now that Nanging City was in a siege and their support forces had been delayed, Lu Yijiao had prepared to yield. He had no resolution to be destroyed together with his city. Their support forces, Fiery Army of the South State, were now guarding the Li Yang Pass over 500 kilometers away. They would have arrived within two days if they had wanted to help them out of their plight. However, Lu Yijiao was well aware that they had no intention to take the risk. Instead, they were more interested in what the Black Feather Army aimed to achieve by sacrificing Qing Sai Army. 
As for the Wei Wu army in the north, Lui Zhao had never had any expectations of them. A trusted subordinate spoke to Lui Zhao in a low voice, General, the Black Feather Army is after something grand. It said that the West Lord of Heaven, Duan Mu Huangqi, promised the Black Feather Army feasts and bounties to their officers and men and the appointment of ten more city lords, if they could occupy ten cities in South State. Lui Zhao shot him a calm look. Of course I know. The fiery army are kidding themselves to think that they would be able to protect Li Yang Pass without us, which is utterly ridiculous. They have forgotten that we share a common fate. General, what should we do then? The man asked softly. Abandon the city and give Nanging to Black Feather Army. Then, head north and roll in the Wei Wu soldiers. I want to see whether fiery army can really block the Black Feather Army outside Li Yang Pass. Lui Zhao said, his expression frosty. At the moment, the Qingxi army had enough forces to break out of the siege before the Black Feather army launched another round of attack. Yet, that would sacrifice more than half of their men. Out of the 30,000 Qingxi soldiers, it would be lucky if a few thousand could survive. However, Lui Zhao insisted that it was worth the gamble because he did not want all of them to perish there. If the fiery army still refused to help Nanging City, they must have been up to some cunning tricks. The punishment for abandoning the city is the death penalty, the man reminded. But now, some people want us dead. If we go, we'll have no place in South State from today onwards. We may have to live as refugees for the remaining time of our life, said Lui Zhao with a sigh. He gazed into the distance at the undulating mountains wondering if it was possible that someone wanted to take his head by the hand of the Black Feather Army. Yet, he could not voice his concerns to anyone. Although he could report the inaction of the Fiery Army to the Lord of Heaven, Lui Zhao knew very well that he would have been killed long before he could make it to the Lord of Heaven. If there was indeed someone pulling the strings behind the Fiery Army, he certainly would not let Lui Zhao get in contact with the Lord of Heaven. Lui Zhao asked, have they come back from Tianding Town? Yes, sir, the man answered, we sent our most elite scouting squad to the place you said, but there was no one inside. The squad reported that the place had likely been discovered by the Black Feather Army, and the person inside had cleverly escaped before being caught by the Black Feather Army. Lui Zhao heaved a sigh of relief. Okay. You may leave. Prepare to break out of the siege at midnight. At the moment, Lu Xu looked at the Wei Wu soldiers outside the village walls, distress all over his face. He had consented to their offer out of impulse and ego, but now he was at a loss over what to do. However, after he returned to Earth, he could boast about his legendary stories to his friends. After all, he had been appointed the general of an army without much effort and he, a bandit, had obtained legitimate identity over one night. But the question was there was not enough food to feed so many mouths. Lu Xu asked Lu Xiaoyu to send Anthony to follow the Black Feather army from a distance, so as to observe their movement. He did not want his men to fall victim to a swing around of their enemies. Suddenly Lu Xiaoyu frowned. She whispered to Lu Xu, Qing Sai army seemed to have broken out of the siege from Nangang City. They ran head-on into the troop of Black Feather army in the north. Lu Xu said calmly, for some reason, I have a feeling that the scale of this war will not be small. Let's pack up and suspend the soap industry. Peanuts will soon become part of our daily diet. Okay. Lu Xiaoyu nodded her head. Have you found a retreat route in the mountain? asked Lu Xu. Yes. There is a long cavity behind the unmountainous range. When I was searching for alkaline mines, I found a huge underground limestone cave. It stretches for more than 10 kilometers, suitable for hiding as there's a water source and the slope isn't that steep either, said Lu Xiaoyu, but what about food? Luckily, we've been buying peanuts like crazy in the recent days. Now that we have sufficient food supplies, it could at least last us for a while, though we can't possibly survive on peanuts only. Lu Xu said after some consideration, besides, the Black Feather Army troop that invaded Yunnan City did not replenish their supplies because they had wanted to travel light. 
I suspect that Yi Xiaoming had certainly harbored food and wealth in his personal storage. Lu Qianji also told me that Yi Xiaoming had two private granaries. You can go and take a look with Li Haiten and Lu Qianji and bring back everything you find there in your space ring. If there's insufficient space, ask someone to help you carry it. Be aware of those Wei Wu soldiers. Kill any rebels if necessary. Special times required special treatment. At this moment, Lu Xu was ready to press into the mountains with Wei Wu army. Now that Qing Sai army had broken out of the siege, Yunnan city had lost their final line of defense. Thus, the total occupation of Black Feather army was inevitable. He had observed the new recruits from Wei Wu army for two days. As if planting peanuts was their first round of selection, this group of people were actually willing to work hard. This also proved to Lu Xu that not all homeless people were lazy. Some of them had fallen into the predicament only because they had no other choice. The lazy ones had died in the fight against the Black Feather Army. At sunset, Li Heighton returned, joy beaming on his face. He had a few sacks over his shoulders. When he saw Lu Xu, he announced happily, We are rich, my lord. That Yi Xiaoming really had big money. Lu Xu let out a sigh of relief. As far as he could see, the 1,000 plus people who had gone off all returned with sacks on their backs, which showed that their visit was truly rewarded. In this way, the shortage of food could be resolved temporarily. Thus, it was a lie when Yi Xiaoming claimed that he had no money for military funding earlier. It was possible that he had asked all the aristocrats and major slave owners across the entire city for money. On the same night, Lu Xu made an inventory of his stocks. What was the most pleasant was the fact that there were now enough military rations. As a matter of fact, Yi Xiaoming had always perceived Wei Wu army as his personal property and he did whatever he pleased with the army provisions. His original plan was to make a fortune by storing military food and selling it during war times, which in the end served Lu Xu a favor. The amount of food should be able to last us for half a year, if we minimize wastage, said Lu Xu. I wonder when we will have peace in South State. In the meantime, Lu Xiaoyu was recording the items in the inventory with full attention. On her face there was a look of maturity and seriousness that did not match her actual age. Now, this little girl had become a competent secretary for Lu Xu. It was not because she liked the chores, but that she wanted to help Lu Xu with his work. To Lu Xiaoyu, it was more like a game. She would be by Lu Xu's side if he wanted to play the game. Lu Xu turned to look at the darkness behind him. Press into the mountains at dawn. Behind him utter silence befell the bandits and the homeless Wei Wu soldiers. All of them were waiting for Lu Xu to lead them towards a new life. At this moment, none of them would have expected the glorious reputation that Wei Wu army would enjoy in the future. That night was the turning point. Chapter 898, Superhuman Shifter The Qingxi army broke away with all their strength. The Black Feather army, who was approaching them, also did not expect to encounter the Qingxi army mid-escape in this wide expanse of flat land. According to their plan, they should have laid an ambush between Liang Pass and Nanging City. The chief commander of the Black Feather Army had been preparing and wanted to prevent the Qingxi Army from joining the Red Flame Army at Liang Pass. Unfortunately, the Qingxi Army did not trust the Red Flame Army. Thus, they did not intend to go to the east towards Liang Pass. Their encounter in this piece of flat land meant that they had to fight to the death. Louis Zhao was not a timid and weak-willed person. When he saw that their path had been blocked, he was not afraid. Follow me and charge. If you die, I will take care of your family. If you live, I will drink with you. Louis Zhao had been in Nanging City for over ten years. He did not expect that the arrival of the Black Feather Army would waste all of his previous efforts. It was said that compassionate people could not lead armies. Lu Yijiao knew this very well. But every death of his subordinates made his heart bleed. Since they had come here, they could not go back. Lu Yijiao could not die yet. 
he still had his mission. Lu Yixiao could only rejoice that he had taken pains to nurture the Qingxi army. Those who were able to be here today were not only the elites, they were also completely loyal to him. The Qingxi army suddenly charged forth. The rank one commander from the Black Feather army soared into the sky. He threw a long spear in Lu Yixiao's direction. It produced a sharp sound as it fell through the sky. As long as he could charge into the formation and kill Lu Yixiao, they would defeat the Qing Sai army without a fight. But the next moment, he saw Lu Yixiao fly into the sky as well. The red tasseled spear in his hands trembled, and a Siberian crane flew out of the spear. When Lu Yixiao took charge of Nanging City, he was only a rank 2. But this did not mean that he had remained as a rank 2 after over 10 years. He had hidden his inadequacy in the eyes of others. But he did not expect to be involved in someone else's plan even though he had remained low. His life was at stake now. Lu Yixiao charged forward with full strength. Where is the superhuman shifter? Lu Yixiao roared. One of his trusted subordinates took out a ball with a lotus engraved on it. He squeezed it with force. The lotus suddenly started to glow. Many fluorescent and transparent petals flew out towards the commander of the Black Feather Army. The commander, who was dressed in black armor, had an unpleasant premonition. He quickly retreated, but it was too late. In order to fight a fast battle to force a quick decision, not only had Lu Yixiao shown his true power, he had even exposed his extraordinary mythical object. In this world, ordinary people called rank 1 experts who could fly, superhumans as they felt that only superhumans could fly. The Superhuman Shifter The owner of the sword hut had once casually tossed it to Lu Yixiao. It could only be used once. Thus, Lu Yixiao treasured it. But not many people knew that he had the Superhuman Shifter. He was afraid that he would not be able to keep his position as the head of Nanging City. There were petals on the ball which the owner of the sword hut had carved they had the ability to kill a rank one. The petals flew very quickly. Lu Yijiao stuck himself to the commander and did not give him the opportunity to run away. The two of them fought like eagles in the sky. The people on the ground had no way to interfere. The moment the Qingxi army and Black Feather army came into contact with each other, the flood of red and the flood of black suddenly collided and attacked each other. It was as if lava from a volcano that had just erupted came into contact with the river. There were roars and the sounds of metal clashing. It sounded as if something was burning. Suddenly, Lu Yixiao raised his leg and kicked the long spear that the commander was using to protect himself. They were over 100 feet apart in the air. Then, the petals of the lotus cut through the black armor that the commander was wearing and pierced through his body. Lu Yixiao sighed internally. In the end, he had used this weapon. He watched as the petals and the ball fell along with the commander and disappeared. The armies fought each other at close quarters. Whether or not they had a commander were two different concepts. Lu Yixiao led the Qingxi army to charge forward, while the Black Feather army started to disperse. Needless to say, the Black Feather army was made up of the most elite soldiers. Even if their commander died, they would still fight to the death. They stepped into the breach to replace their fallen comrades. No one from the Black Feather army had escaped. Only dead bodies were left on the battlefield. The Qingxi army, which had 3,000 people when they escaped, was left with only over 1,000 people. Lu Yijiao turned and looked at Nanging City, which had ceased to exist. The Weiwu army is definitely done for. We will change our escape route. Leave your horses here. We are going into the mountains. The Black Feather army had come from the same direction as Yunnan City. Thus, Lu Yixiao was certain that the Weiwu army was done for. The Black Feather army had come from the back. To prevent their escape routes from being sealed off, they definitely had to kill the Weiwu army. If not, what if the Black Feather army wanted to retreat? but had to face the Weiwu army. It would cause them even more trouble, right? 
Liu Yizhao had no way to confirm whether there were any soldiers from the Black Feather Army on guard in Yunnan City. Thus, leaving their horses here and going into the mountains was the best decision. For a period of time, Liu Yizhao felt that they were surrounded by enemies, isolated and without help. They were slightly desolate. His subordinate said, Commander, we can be considered as lonely souls. Liu Yizhao laughed. But we are also souls with bear fangs and brandish claws. Let's go. Behind, the Black Feather army spread like locusts and wreaked havoc in the south. There were only ten positions for the heads of city. There might not be enough for everyone. The new leader of the Wei Wu army brought the old, weak and disabled to the depths of the mountain range in the north. They were not in a particular hurry. They were most afraid that the grains they were carrying would get wet and become damp. Thus, Lu Xu allowed them to be more careful. Lu Qianji said sincerely, We are very glad to have a leader like the Great Lord. Lu Xu paused for two seconds. I am happy for you as well. Lu Qianji was confused. From Lu Qianji's distress, plus 99. Lu Xiaoyu, who was beside them, secretly laughed. Lu Xu was still the same Lu Xu. He could pause, but would never remain silent. Great Lord, please do not worry. Although our disorganized soldiers are not of much use, they are not two-faced people. If that was the case, we would have been partners in crime with Yi Xiaoming a long time ago. Lu Qianji was most worried that Lu Xu did not trust them. This was very important. After two days, Lu Qianji's greatest impression of Lu Xu was although he was occasionally harsh in his words, he was not a moody ruler. He realized that even Li Heighten dared to joke around with Lu Xu. It was said that a small sign can indicate a great trend. If Lu Xu was not an amiable ruler, Li Heighten would not dare to do so as well. As for grains and resources, Lu Xu did not intend on taking them for himself. The grains were simply to be stored as reserve grains for the entire team. If it were Yi Xiaoming, he would have to be dying before allowing his soldiers to drink clean water and eat good food. Lu Qianji felt that following this kind of leader was quite good. Everyone had something to eat. Chapter 899, Reorganize Military Discipline There are no great saviors, nor do we need superhumans or kings. We have to depend on ourselves to create happiness in the Wei Wu army. The group traveling in the forest started to sing. It echoed through the forest and scared the birds. Lu Xu had felt that the march was far too dry. Thus, he had adapted the lyrics of L'Internationale and taught the soldiers of the Wei Wu army. To be honest, these people were once slaves. They were actual slaves who still had the seal of a slave in their bodies. Thus, it was easy for them to relate with this song. At first, everyone did not like this adaptation very much. The plays and songs that they had heard were very different from this. Thus, they found it hard to accept the song. But as they sang, they felt that it sounded good. There were times when people needed to get used to new things. Lu Xu had the right to force them to get used to it. At first, Lu Xu did not accept this. Why was the old king of gods appreciated for the poems that he had copied, but his song was not appreciated? Who were you talking to? In the end, the more the Wei Wu army soldiers sang, the more they liked the song. They could not help but sing. The more people that sung, the more vigor they sang with. It was as if the march through the forest had become much more relaxing. Even if Lu Xu did not allow them to sing, they could not help but hum. It was as if they had started a new life. The campsite that Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu headed for was over 50 kilometers north of the Azure Dragon Village. They took two full days to walk there. After all, Lu Xu did not make them walk at full speed for the entire day. If they encountered any animals along the way, they would hunt these animals and take the meat along with them. Food supplies were running low and every morsel counted. If the conditions allowed for it, Lu Xu would ask everyone to capture these animals alive and rear them in the future. He had done preparations for a long war. 
After all, wars could last for several years. When they reached the campsite, Lu Xu stood on a high slope. As Lu Xiaoyu had said, the mountain slopes were very gentle. There was a river at the foot of the mountain. The entrance to the limestone cave was halfway up the mountain and covered in vegetation. If Lu Xiaoyu had not surfaced from underground to find ores, they would not have found this place. There were few signs of human habitation. There were no specific names of places here either. Lu Xu turned and looked at Li Haiten. Have you been here before? Lu Haiten said earnestly, only the great lord will come to such an isolated place. Who cares what it's called? Then from today, this place will be called King Lu Mountain. Lu Xiaoyu exclaimed. She seemed very pleased with herself. No, wait. Lu Xu grabbed Lu Xiaoyu. But before he could speak, Li Haiten shouted to the people behind. Did you hear that? From today, this place will be called King Lu Mountain. Lu Xu was speechless. From Lu Xu's distress, plus 199. Lu Xu asked Li Haiten and a few others to light a few torches. They then entered the cave. It was dark, damp and cold. They could even hear the sound of water dripping onto stones. Lu Xu raised his torch. Everyone saw the stalactite, that was shaped like a sword, on the dome. Lu Qinji carefully asked, Great Lord, this might be where a demon lives. It is far too frightening. Why don't we retreat for now? Lu Xu was dumbfounded. He then realized that Lu Qianji and the rest may have never seen a limestone cave. Thus, when they saw a strange place, they thought that a strong demon lived there. Feudalism and superstition kill people. Lu Xu sighed. This is the result of corrosion of limestone after being exposed to water underground for a prolonged period of time. Forget it. Even if I explain, you might not understand. This was naturally formed. No demons live here. The expressions on Li Haiten and Lu Qianji's faces said, although I don't understand what happened, it seems very amazing. However, they were still unconvinced. Were there really no demons here? But if the great lord said so with such confidence, then there were really no demons. After all, Li Haiten was used to believing whatever Lu Xu had told him. Lu Qianji still needed time to adjust. Lu Xu said to Lu Xiaoyu, this limestone cave seems like a natural house, but people can't live here. It is too damp. Are there limestone caves elsewhere? Not only was it unlivable, items could not be stored in the cave. Grains would go bad in less than half a month. Lu Xiaoyu recalled. There are a lot of limestone caves here. They stretch over 10 kilometers. But that is made up of over 20 limestone caves that are not connected. Then we will connect them, said Lu Xu. Then, we will construct a concealed passageway at an appropriate place. It can be in a mountain creek, the forest, or a cavern. It is best if it is a place that is hard to find unless discovered by accident. After we connect the limestone caves, they will be our retreat path. The Black Feather Army may not enter the mountains, but even if they do, we are prepared. If we can't directly fight them, we can run, right? Got it. Lu Xiaoyu nodded her head. After I'm done, I will draw a map. I will do my best to ensure that the entrance is concealed. Lu Xu had chosen this place to give himself and the Wei Wu army a retreat path. If the Black Feather army came, they would definitely be unfamiliar with the limestone caves here. Thus, the limestone caves had become a natural shelter and a passage for escape. Unless over 100,000 soldiers from the Black Feather Army extended all over the mountains, they could not possibly find the Wei Wu army. If they had food, land, manpower, and a way to escape, Lu Xu could be more relieved. Lu Xu walked out of the limestone cave and looked at the faces of his soldiers. He sighed with emotion. Could he create a heavenly network branch in this world? He did not know whether it was easy to trick them. He said to Lu Qianji, split into two teams. One of the teams will build houses. 
I will give you a blueprint. Build a covered wooden house according to the blueprint. The other team will open up the wastelands. Turn this mountain slope into terrace fields. Here, I will be particular about hygiene. No one is allowed to use the toilet wherever they want. No one is allowed to drink raw water either. Everyone has to bathe every day. Go to the river now and bathe. Wash your clothes as well. Whoever dares to bring fleas and lice into the campsite will be punished. Lu Qianji felt slightly awkward. In the past, the military campsite had never cared about this. But Li Haiten and the rest were all used to it. Back then, when Lu Xu first became the great lord of the Azure Dragon Village, he had also forced them to bathe and change their clothes. If not, they would not be allowed within ten meters of the great lord. Thus, since the Wei Wu army had nothing else to do, all of them jumped into the river to bathe. The water that flowed from the mountains was very clear. Clean water constantly flowed, while dirty water went downstream. Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu went to explore and construct holes in the caves. He brought Li Heighten together with him. Everyone who had finished bathing had to stand naked and be inspected by Li Heighten to ensure that they had no lice on their bodies. Once they had been checked, they could then wear clean clothes. Chapter 900 Reunion with an Old Friend This was a clash between modern and old thought. Lu Xu knew the consequences of the lack of hygiene. He had asked whether Li Heighten and the rest often fell sick. Li Heighten said that some people had died of an illness. He did not even know the exact cause of their death. Lu Xu and the rest had met many strong creatures in the forest. Lu Xu had even seen a rank 2 creature. This was what he was often worried about. There was a high concentration of magical energy here, but this did not mean that the only ones who benefited were humans. Lu Xu realized that even the leeches in the dark pools of water could cut the skin of a rank 3 practitioner. What about parasites? They had definitely mutated as well. He had caught a leech to experiment with. The leech only died after being submerged in water for a minute. Thus, Lu Xu required the soldiers to boil water for two minutes before drinking it. Thankfully, the river at the foot of the mountain was very clear and was exposed to water. Bodies of water that could reach such a state often did not have parasites. On the other hand, bodies of water with leeches meant that it was not suitable for drinking. Even if the water was boiled, there were still many impurities. What Lu Xu wanted to do now was to instill his basic knowledge in the soldiers of the Wei Wu army. He did not care whether they were happy with this or not. He had the final say. These rough men had never cared about this. During their march, Lu Xu could see fleas and lice in their hair. He was very disgusted. To resolve the issue of cleanliness, Lu Xu even asked Li Heighten to take out a few boxes of soap for them to use. When they were by the river, the soldiers softly said, Does the great lord hate us? We have to be naked and allow others to inspect us. How humiliating! The great lord keeps staring at us. He forces us to strip naked and bathe as well. Could it be, someone was absolutely terrified. I am not a slave with a seal on my buttocks, someone uttered in shock. When Lu Qianji heard this, he glared at them. Do as the great lord says. No nonsense. When Lu Xu heard what they had said, his mouth twitched. He finally understood why Zhang Weiyu's tone had been so weird. It was all because he did not have enough knowledge back then. At first, the soldiers felt that bathing every day was very awkward. But after they persevered for seven days, they felt very comfortable. In the past, even if they had bathed, fleas and lice would jump on them when they returned to the campsite. They were used to the itchiness. After the campsite focused on hygiene in particular, everyone felt extremely refreshed. It was as if their spirits lifted significantly. Someone had asked whether the great lord hated them. But after seven days, they honestly hated how they were seven days ago. Lu Xu sighed. 
he had to start from the very beginning to correct these soldiers from the Weiwu army. They were all very careless. If he wanted the army to have renewed combat power, he had to adjust their habits and discipline. The first step in achieving hygiene had produced results. Gradually, the houses started to take shape, and crops were planted in the fields. Although Lu Xu felt slightly tired, he felt very accomplished. They had obtained wood from the trees they had cut down in the forest. There was an abundance of wood. Furthermore, practitioners were the ones transporting the materials. It was very convenient. Lu Xu looked at Lu Qianji and the rest. They seemed very familiar with building barracks. He was curious. You are very skilled. In the past, we were the least liked soldiers in the Weiwu army. Thus, we did all the difficult labor, like building barracks. Lu Qianji smiled. I was assistant commander and I led work like this. Lu Xu nodded his head. Indeed, these people were very skilled in such work. But the problem was, how would he equip them with combat power? To be honest, in terms of pure power, they were not much weaker than that of the Qingsai army. Armies were all like this. Those who were more particular about cooperated combat and motivation were stronger overall. But these people were lacking these. If the Black Feather Army really came, it would be good if the Weiwu Army could defend themselves, right? Lu Xu was slightly annoyed. If Zhong Yutong were here, things would be much better. Even if these soldiers were trained like new soldiers, they would be able to produce results in half a year. It was a pity that Lu Xu had never done this in the past. Even when he was a teacher, he only taught individual combat. He could teach these slaves swordplay, but he did not have the approval of the Hall of Swords. Lu Xu would not keep the way of the Tao to himself. He wanted to pass the knowledge on to others with a clear conscience. There was a suitable environment for the soldiers of the Weiwu army, but he could not train here. He would put them aside for now. He would think about other things when the house and the fields had been fully constructed. Now, Lu Xu had to train. He accidentally discovered that the magical energy in the limestone caves was present in a higher concentration compared to Azure Dragon Village. He might as well stay in the limestone cave and train his swordplay alone every day and increase his power. After half a month, Lu Xu heaved a sigh of relief. His swordplay had reached rank 4. With the sword energy, he could even kill a rank 3. At that moment, Li Heighton shouted from the outside the limestone cave, Great Lord! We captured a suspicious person. Lu Xu was dumbfounded. This place was uninhabited, right? How did they manage to capture someone? Could it be a spy from the Black Feather Army? He walked out of the limestone cave. When the soldiers from the Weiwu Army saw their great lord walk out of the limestone cave, they would consciously salute in respect. This was not out of force or because of a requirement that Lu Xu had proposed. During this period, Lu Xu had been impartial in handling affairs. He did not embezzle their grains. Although they did not eat particularly well every day, they did not have to go on empty stomachs. In this chaotic world, there was nothing more valuable than a ruler who was willing to understand and sympathize with their subordinates. It was as if the soldiers had understood gratitude better than an ordinary person. But now, this was limited to respect and exerting themselves. Lu Xu felt that if he truly wanted to bring them into battle, this group of people were guaranteed to run faster than mutated rabbits. Lu Xu followed Li Heighten up the mountain slope. What happened? It seems as if over 50 ordinary people have come here from the north to escape. Li Heighten thought about it and said, But great lord, you should verify it. They are very hungry, but very strange. They did not want to drink the water we gave them. Lu Xu furrowed his eyebrows. If they were only ordinary people, it would be best for them to stay here. If these people left and spread the news, the Black Feather Army might find out that the Weiwu Army was still in the mountains. But when Lu Xu saw the group of people, he was dumbfounded. 
Li Heighton said, If you have anything to say, tell it to our commander and great lord. When he saw Lu Xu, he was dumbfounded as well. We haven't met for only a short while, but you've become commander and great lord, what kind of nonsensical title is that? Lu Xu was happy. Zhang Weiyu, weren't you hiding in the cave? Why have you come here? When Zhang Weiyu thought about this, he was annoyed. The Black Feather Army is for real this time. Luckily, we sensed that something was wrong early. If not, we might have died. Suddenly, Zhang Weiyu looked at Lu Xu, then looked at the group of people who respected Lu Xu. Two months ago, he was a slave who had escaped. How did he suddenly become the commander of so many people? Lu Xu seemed to understand what he was thinking. Before I left, didn't you suggest that I join the Wei Wu army? Then? Then I incorporated the Wei Wu army into my own forces, said Lu Xu. From Zhang Weiyu's distress, plus 666. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know Glass half full or empty And we just put them on the show Try to look 